Look who has one more year added to the books. See, it's 12 a.m. on the dot. I told you I'd be the first one. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't just forget my favorite person like that. It is late though, and I have work tomorrow. I'm going to bed now, love. Yeah. I'm working a full shift today, so I have to get as much sleep in. Yeah, you told me you took the Friday off. I already had a full shift. I didn't change it to work late today. Come home earlier. Why? If something's wrong, I'd really appreciate it if you just told me how you're feeling. I can see and hear you're getting really bothered by this conversation. Oh, so you're going to bed now? If there's nothing, then fine, I'm going to bed too. Good night. All right, love. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. I'll be working a little late, but call me if anything happens and you need me. Love, hey, are you here with me? You were looking right at me, didn't you hear a word I said? You know, this is getting really childish. Something is clearly wrong. What's the matter? We have a system. I don't need you to speak to me. You can text me or write a note, but you chose this. All right, fine, I'm going. Have a good rest of your day. Sweet nurse, you're home. I thought you'd stay out a little later than that. Mm, come here, you look absolutely stunning. You really look great. Huh. Why did you push me off? If you didn't want me to hug you, you could have said so. <sighs> okay, you really need to communicate now. You've been mean to me the entire morning without a word of reason behind it. What's going on? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Say it again. And this time, I want you to listen to what you said to me. Yeah, I'm serious. You know I don't celebrate birthdays. I don't celebrate mine. And I don't celebrate anyone else's. This is nothing new. Is this why you've been so cold towards me? I get it if you didn't know, but that was one of the first things I said when we met. I said it because I've seen that birthdays mean a lot to some people. For me, I'm happy I got to see another year. I explained it all to you. And you told me that if this was something that meant a lot to you, we shouldn't take things any further. You convinced me for days it wouldn't affect you. Am I the only one remembering this? You planned something for me. Please don't bring that up because when you planned that party, I brought you upstairs and spoke to you about it. I wasn't upset, even though I told you throughout the week not to do anything. But I think I'm getting what's going on here. If this is really what I think, it's really going to hurt me. I just had a feeling... I want you to answer me truthfully. Did you throw that party even though I told you I didn't want anything just so I could give you something this year for your birthday? <sighs> ah, the guilt. Do you hear yourself? Why would you guilt trip me into doing something for you? I thought we had an understanding. 
why go through all of this? How could you say that's my only problem? I planned picnics, dinner dates, trips. But you still wanted a big gesture today too, knowing where I stood on the matter. That's so low. There are so many people who fit your needs. Why play with my emotions for something like this? You know how I feel about reciprocating. And you thought to use that against me for this. If you threw a party for me, I'd do something big for you to match. You can't want to have your cake and eat it. And you're still mad. But for yourself. <sighs> okay, okay, but why are you yelling at me like I did something wrong? Like I hurt your feelings. Trying to be level-headed when I'm the one hurt. But you can shout and you can yell at me. So much for a happy birthday. I think you should leave. You know what? You're right. I'll leave tonight. I cooked something for you because I thought you might come home and feel a little hungry, but please get your stuff packed. I'll drop you back to your apartment tomorrow morning. <sighs> please don't hold on to me. Just, just leave me alone. Just grabbing a few things before I go. You don't get to ask me where I'm going anymore. Maybe you missed it, but we are over. Finished, even. Ugh. I can barely fathom what I just experienced. This is all so stupid. There's just no reason why. You know what? Let me not. I'll be back by 10 tomorrow. After I drop you off, please don't speak to me again. This all left a real bitter taste in my mouth and I would hate to be reminded of it after I get it out.